Cars are like gliding around with a lot of sound. So funny. Yeah, on the one side, the cars are amazing because man, you can move just like this, and you're dry and warm or cold. on the other side it takes away the worth, the space, the, the beauty of a wall and also the mindset of like you. It takes me a few hours to go there. There's something really beautiful in that I find. Right. Also the city is stupid because peeing anywhere doesn't feel inviting. Because of people that have belief system that it's not good and that you that they can ask you a lot of money when you pee somewhere. <laughs> Fucking outrageous. Call yourself a policeman and then all of a sudden it's fine to ask somebody a lot of money to do something that's so normal. I also understand why people take cars <laughs> because uh, it's uh, nice and comfortable. My legs hurt. Now I started my second half of the apparently walking marathon. And my feet, my one foot, well, there's some pain. Somehow there's also excitement. It feels also just cool. And on the other side it feels stupid. I feel like calling people all the time. Talking to people. Hmm. Yeah. There's something about like a part of me wants to just be hugged all the time. 
talk with people, be with people. Getting into the social chakra. Hmm. But the other part, I feel also like you. Yeah, outside. I see that I put some of my power towards other people, like I said yesterday in the video. But uh, so many thoughts, so many thoughts. Though these thoughts are from other people, crazy. Maybe that's thought, just other people, and we think we have an own an identity, but maybe it's only other people. Crazy. Such a cute boat. I really understand why people get stuck in something. I really do. It's so hard to be vulnerable so fucking amazingly fragile to the vulnerability in the sense to see that everything you have preached for you are not and I think there should be a lot of these moments in the life if you want to not be stuck but these moments are fucking harsh you don't want to break your Im self image no self image wants that nothing wants to like no routine wants to be routine call it addiction call it personality but routine wants to be a routine but then if you believe in your routine because you think it's the blah 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 but it turns out to be a blee 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 that's harsh I'm closing into the smoking bench Here we sit again, after some hours. So much... Thoughts, so much sound, also so much silence. Just look at the look at the flags on the ship dangling. Just doing their thing.
There's so much to worry about, there's so much to think about, so much. And yet everybody needs to do it themselves, or not. And we can be there for each other. If I think to be with other people, I feel like, yo, supporting. Do it. Or don't. And so then, for me, it's always the other way around apparently, first others and then me, so then the others has a mirror to me, I feel also like, yo, it's all fine man, cookie, do whatever, or don't. So who do I want to be? I'd love to be like a warm place. I really don't know actually. For now I'm walking again. <laughs> Oh shit, my head. Oh, fucky. Oh, my mom's knitted head. I almost lost it. Oof. Or no? Is it? Oh, it's laying on the ground. <laughs> no, I dropped it. That looks horrible and sad. Oh, Cookie, come on. I make you warm. Oh. Oh, that feels so horrible. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> A few years back, five or something, four, four years back, ish. Um, I became, I don't know, maybe longer. Well, anyway, I had a strange encounter with death, and it felt it felt literally. That the guy, death, as a person, came to me and he said, Come, you want to uh, go? Because I always felt that I, at that age I would die. My whole life I felt like I'm gonna die at that age, 24. And, um, and I was like, no, 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 I don't want to go. And then the death said, Why? And then I said, yeah, but because it hurts a lot of people. And then Death said, that's not a good reason. Why do you not want to go away from this planet? So the question was, why do you want to live? And... Um, and... Uh, the answer I didn't know. I don't I didn't know why I want to live. So I answered I don't know. But I at least want to try to figure out why.
so death left and I had energy to go like yo whoa okay why do I want to live what's this life about and now actually I feel kind of the same I feel similar I don't know why I want to live it's not clear but now it became just now I thought I do want to give I feel like giving and for a long time I don't know what what to give sound and music maybe it, that feels that feels actually now it feels amazing to give music whatever it is just give sound and now I felt I may be car <laughs> wait Maybe I can give this. Giving sound, giving experience, giving me. Wow, I'm figuring out why to live. And that it is a perfect time. Before I felt I needed to do accomplished, to have accomplished something, to be able to share. For example, also I wanted to share financially, but I don't get any money. <laughs> and I can work or whatever. But I do want to give. It's always about giving, in the end. Sometimes in the middle, I'm not seeing that it's about giving, but I feel it's about giving. and I now see that it's maybe amazing to give this guy as a person to that is just also struggling feeling and feeling pain and feeling happy and not at all perfect that I can give that a mirror to yourself To share my life, to share my experiences, to share my thoughts, to share my sound. So you feel, or ah, or oh, or at home, or this or that, and maybe I can give this warm place in this sense. And I thought of this a lot of times, but maybe I think the thing is with that I should then, like I have been doing, give the sound just whatever it is maybe every day maybe every week doesn't matter but uh, constantly so there's no filter on which sound is good or which sound is bad or which text is good or the text is bad or which kind of person you are is good or bad and I am and you are and that we are all in this <laughs> like struggling and finding out new things about ourselves about the world and maybe just being satisfied and just chilling and maybe not and whatever life and that life is life and it la 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 and it should be and that it is okay and that's also the documentary that's gonna come out in august that's also where that was about cars And I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe that's good. <laughs> I think it's good to not know in a sense, but not just settle with it. I'm not settling with it that I don't know. I'm searching. I'm walking now 40 kilometers something. And it's maybe being too harsh for myself and blah, blah, blah. Beautiful French saying beautiful things and it touches me and then I go over it and then this and then sus and then so and yeah but to just share the road
to just share the road. I'm walking this road. You're walking another, but we're all walking or sitting or waiting or feeling horrible or feeling super amazing or feeling super satisfied at the end of a really nice hard work day. But we're all, all walking the path of life. <laughs> it sounds cringy when it comes out of my mouth, but it, it is that. And I think a really beautiful starting point, as I said yesterday, is that we're all doing it. And I hope there's some... Yeah. Yeah, man. Okay, fuck yeah. So, for now I feel really much to share my road. And that stuff is not perfect yet. <laughs> and maybe by not striving at all you become uh, the perfect that you are. And maybe by striving. Let's figure it out. Maybe it's for everybody different. But this is my road. And I'm taking you along with it. The sound of freedom. The knee is getting really fucked. <laughs> the knee is getting really fucked. I repeat, the knee is getting really fucked. <laughs> People are driving still with the cars. Really late at night. Really late at night. People are driving in the cars late at night. Another one is driving there, coming in this way. On my way to home, where my kids and wife are asleep. Because it's late at night, cause I was on my phone. To my left, to your left you see the canal. To your right you see grass. In front of you you see a light. And over there you see the roads. And there you see the gemaal. And here's a little pole. I'm still walking through the night. So yesterday, last part of my journey, uh, I had the battery died. Well, it was a fantastic last part. The legs almost couldn't work anymore, but then what happened was that there was, there was just so much joy. <laughs> it was so joyful. It was just Also the song, Day 15, was just uh, amazing because uh, singing songs, just being simple and earthed in the body and just having fun with myself. So that was amazing. And then I was out to get some stuff, to find stuff. I found this. So this is parts of a bike. 
a glove, a plastic rope thing and some reed. So the next video will be what this is gonna be. I will make something of this, or at least it's the plan. Stay tuned for the next video. Uh, yes. <laughs>